Hello there, everybody. <laughs> well, it's Sunday, the 23rd of October 2022. I've just arrived for work. My shift sign's on at eight minutes past six. I'm doing the last bus on the 121, and I've just pulled up, and the heavens have opened, so I'm not quite sure how I'm going to make it from the car to the bus garage without getting soaking wet. Anyway, I'll carry on with this video shortly and add some more throughout my ship. Got absolutely soaked walking from the car to the garage. So I had to uh, ask for another pair of trousers that I can get changed into. And the driver on the duty in front of me has come in and got soaked and gone home to get changed. So here we are up at uh, Enfield Island Village. I've now got DW527, I should have had 568. Uh, I walk down to the changeover point, I get a call on my mobile phone from iBus, that 568 has broken down. I need to walk back up to the garage, see the engineers and get another bus. This one isn't too bad as it happens. So what we'll do now is we'll just uh, jump back in the bus and we'll take a quick look at the time card, the duty card. So let's have a quick look at uh, today's duty card then. 467 duty on a Sunday is what we call last bus. It's actually the last one to sign on and the last one to finish. Signs on at 18.08, takes over 18.20. Finishes back in the garage at 2.26 in the morning. Um, the last bus to finish is not always the last one to sign on. During the week, 483 is the last bus. It's the last one to finish, but 485 is the last one to sign on. But in the case of today, this is last bus in all respects. The only uh, thing that I don't like about this duty, if we can get it in focus, I'm going to leave here from the village at 1900. I'm due in Turnpike at uh, 5 past 8 and out again at 10 past 8. Now those five minutes are my time. It's not recovery time. We're entitled to five minutes at the end of every journey to do whatever you want to do, whether you want to go to the toilet, check your bus, if you're a smoker you might want a cigarette, I'm not, but uh, those five minutes are my time. So if I get the turnpike late, which is always possible, it's a wet day, Spurs are at home, there could be a knock-on effect in Wood Green, although I think at that time of night it's unlikely, but if I get the turnpike lane late, I will take my five minutes as I'm entitled to, and I will just leave late. Um, that's their problem, it's bad scheduling that. Um, and they must know these problems exist. Of course, it could be the other way around. I could get the turnpike a bit sharpish a few minutes early and then there'll be no problem. Anyway, that's the duty card for today. Um, I'll put together one or two more clips as the shift progresses. So I'll catch up with you again in a few minutes. So here we are in the canteen. I've already eaten my food. I did actually manage to come off on time for my meal break. Not sure how I managed that because the one behind was running 15 minutes late. So there was a big gap in the old service there. And uh, I may have mentioned earlier that we're on diversion between uh, the top of Hartford Road and Island Village. There's now an accident on that diversion. So we're diverted away from the diversion. Although whether that's um, clear by the time I go back, I don't know. My second bus is showing as coming up about five minutes late, which is not a major drama. No canteen facilities on a Sunday. Arriva closed the, uh, the canteen a good few years ago. All we've got is a vending machine for drinks and a microwave or a couple of microwaves there. Um, we do have food available during the week. It's privately run by one individual. Um, and he's open, I think it's eight o'clock until five o'clock, Monday to Saturday. So it's better than having nothing. A lot of bus garages, particularly outside of London, don't actually have any food provided. So that's the canteen facilities. There is aircon in here in the summer. Shame they can't get the aircon in the buses. So I'll walk down the road in a few minutes and uh, do my second half and do another couple of clips before the shift ends. 
So here we are at a very wet turnpike lane. That's my leader sitting there and I'm due out in a couple of minutes and he still hasn't gone. My second bus did come up uh, about 10 minutes late. I went to Ireland Village. That accident is still on Mollison Avenue. I think it must be a fatal because it's, uh, it's still there three hours after it happened. And um, they've got all the tents up over it. Um, so I was sent out of service from Island Village to Ponder's End. I picked it up in service at the bus garage. I was five late there. My leader was just in the distance and he was running 20 minutes late. So we'll see what happens now with the rest of the night. There's three of us down here at Turnpike now. So let's now bring this video to an end. The time is 20 past 1, 01.20 at night. Back here at Turnpike, leave here at 1.30. Uh, on the last trip back to Ireland Village. This bus is a right pig, I'm telling you. Top speed of 32 mile an hour, which is no good to anybody. Dies to an absolute crawl on hills. Sometimes as low as 12 miles an hour on a hill, depending on whether you get a run at the hill or not. Anyway, that's the end of this shift. I'm off tomorrow. Well, that's Monday, time you watch this video. It'll already be Monday. And then I'm starting early shifts again from Tuesday. So that's it for now. Thanks for watching. Catch up with you again soon.